Hi everybody, Trendy John here from Simpler Trading. Let's go ahead and get started with ticker Tesla, T-S-L-A. We have some supply and demand on the screen as you all can see. The green is the value where I would definitely be looking at buying and the red is where I expect my target into the end of year. However, it's if this, then that. If price can continue to hold the trendy turn signal, this yellow arrow and above the cloud, and that cloud is getting really tight. So we do need to be somewhat cautious. I need to see value here. I'd really like to get up and over this pivot high of 246 and a half. So let's go ahead and create an alert there. So create an alert at or above put it right, right around that level, 247.12. I'd be looking for 255, and again, end of year targets putting me somewhere between 267 and 316. Um, there is a lot of air between here and that 300 target, so again, this thing can really get moving, but I think, you know, every time eyes get on Tesla, like the masses start talking about it, I find that's when Tesla kind of slows down and and, and kind of just throws everybody for a loop, all right? Now, as far as uh, near-term support, you're looking at 224 by about 214, and if that gives out, I'm a buyer first here at 203, 192, and 178. That's the areas I'd be looking to scale in. Far as going into this week, let's go ahead and talk about that going to go down into the daily. Notice we're building some value here above the daily cloud. The 200 SMA comes in around 223.11. And again, as long as we could stay above there, looking for those prices to the upside. Notice we had a nice drop here. This is an inside and down formation on a smaller time frame. And we had, you know, a lot of selling pressure here. So it's not easy for us to build value here. Again, reason for the slowdown in my opinion. As we get over into the four hour, same thing, you know, it's kind of like the ES futures and the NASDAQ futures this week. I want to know at the end of the day, can we hold above the four hour cloud? And right now we're doing so. All right. They're not making it easy. It's really tight in a range. And the market, overall market is trying to digest these bigger moves that they had in November. So just be patient. All right, know your levels, understand where I would be looking to get long. I'm just sharing that with you. You don't have to follow me. But, and then if we can move over certain levels, then I'm looking for those targets that we talked about. Right now, if for some reason we start to move up here, but we cannot create a higher high, this might be a nice area to try and sell some call credit spreads. And if I'm wrong, I'll buy back the short side, let the long side run. Uh, biggest thing here is just be patient as we digest. You could put a box around this. If we break down below the box, go short. If we break above the box, go long. That is my analysis on Tesla. Please give it a like and please share. We'll see you guys soon. Have a nice day.